I'm like, do I need to change shirts? No, that's me. I, I need to go shower. <laughs> hey, good morning. It's Mark and Jen with Sailing Lunacy. Uh, today we are in the southern bays of Grenada. It is time to lift anchor and head up to Cariacou. There's no wind today, so it's going to be more motoring lunacy than sailing lunacy. So we are going to try to get our fishing game on as we head up to Ronde. Hmm. Or Ronde. Or Ronde. Ronde, however you however say you it. However you say it. First, let's have breakfast. But first, yeah, let's get some breakfast. Okay, so today I'm going to make up some gluten-free pancakes. And they go straight in the blender, and it is super easy. It is oats, eggs baking powder, cinnamon, vanilla, salt, bananas. That's pretty much it. Some water. Here we go. Three quarter. Ooh. It's on a boat. It happens. This is normal. I mean, it's not, it shouldn't do this, but it does this. And here's how we fix it. <laughs> the thermal couple drops, and so I have to pull it back up. And this is why we will not keep this stove oven thing for much longer. Ta-da! All right, once the cast iron is really hot, a little oil. That's an avocado olive oil combo. Let it get hot. Gonna reduce the heat a little. We like to top these off with some local Grenadian nutmeg syrup. And that's it. Delicious. As you can see from the chart, these southern bays are littered with coral reef entrances, so we've been in and out of Mount Hardin Bay quite a few times, so we would probably do this, uh, this entrance or exit at night, uh, but if you're not familiar with them, you definitely want to come into this area with good lighting. Uh, even though from a charting standpoint, everything is charted fairly accurate. A lot of times while sailing, we're not at a decent mahi speed, fishing for mahi, which is uh, six, six and a half knots. Although the boat will easily do that, a lot of times, especially if conditions are sloppy, we'll slow down just for comfort, uh, which means we're not as effective when we fish. Uh, the other thing you want to look for with Mahi is to be in at least 100 feet of water. As you can see, we're only in 23 here, so we're going to sneak out and do this uh, 
to the ledge basically and we're going to fish that ledge all the way around Grenada uh, all the way up until maybe all the way to Rome so hopefully we'll land uh, dinner So if you followed our video from St. Thomas to Grenada, you know that we had some issues with fuel. Uh, so let me show you what we're doing about it. So for about the price of what it was going to cost to have our tank polished one time, I went out and bought an electric fuel pump, some gate valves, and then repurposed our old Raycor 500. So what that allows us to do is basically polish fuel while we're underway, which is the best time to do it because you want to do it when you're when you're out and the tanks are being sloshed about. Having it polished at the dock definitely helps, but it doesn't get all the sediment off the bottom of the tank. So the way this setup is, Leopard has tank drains out of the bottom of the tank. So we're actually sucking from the bottom of the tank right now, polishing with a 30 micron filter and then putting it back in the same tank. We've mostly only had trouble with the starboard uh, tank, uh, but while I was doing it, I went ahead and ran uh, hoses from the port tank and that'll actually allow us not only to polish fuel, but it'll allow us to transfer fuel back and forth. I guess the last time we knew we would be back. It's so pretty here and it feels like home. But I guess anywhere you spend enough time it starts to feel like home. Eight kilometers off of its northern coast, Grenada has its very own submarine volcano. Kickham Jenny rises about 1,300 meters off of the sea floor and is an active volcano. Be sure to check for any recent activity before passing through the marine exclusion.
Yeah, we should totally go back to the States and go back to corporate life. I'll meddle through if I have to. All right, we are at Roan anchored down and it is time to go get our snorkel on. surfaces of this site are covered with every type of sea life imaginable. And above the water, it's a bird watcher's dream. So that was a pretty good day. That's a pretty good day. I would say that uh, the sisters at Rhone are probably one of the best snorkel sites we have been to uh, in a very long time, if not forever. Yeah, it was really cool life everywhere, and uh, we may hit it again tomorrow if the weather cooperates. Yeah, it is definitely one of those spots that you would have to do in settled weather. Uh, it does have some exposure, so if you did it when the typical trades are blowing, you would probably get crushed. Yeah, this, even this anchorage alone was, this anchorage was pretty terrible in our monohull, so we didn't really hang out here. So it's nice to come back and do it in the catamaran and see what it's all about. Yep. All right, next time. Don't know what's going to happen. Who knows what we're showing next time. But we haul out soon, so we'll have boat projects before we <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
All right, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe and definitely send us any questions that you have or comments on what you would like to see next. See you next time.